Hi, my name is Michael Feitel. I'm delighted to be here at the SLS show 2017 to introduce two exciting features of our new SPAC multi-mode microplate reader. So this is the live viewer for automated microscopy as well as smart automation. And I will basically tell you what a smart automation is actually all about. But first of all, let's assume actually you're running cell-based assays. So what is the first step you're doing? You're doing cell counting uh, of suspension cells. And of course, when you're trypsinizing cells of a T flask, then you want to study the concentration of your cells. You can do this in the Spark with the imaging module based on the bright field optics. And you use the cell chip to actually count the cells. You get the concentration within 20 seconds. And moreover, if you use actually a triprint blue staining, you get actually a life in that ratio as well. And the next step is, of course, once you have the concentration, to dispensing the cells in the micropet well. And you want to set up a long-term live kinetic assays to really study the mode of action to get the best data quality. How can you do this? And Spark really excels in terms of providing a cell-based package. First of all, you have, of course, a gas control module inside the reader to provide oxygen and CO2 concentration in the right concentration to have the best environment for your cells. Secondly, of course, you have to deal with evaporation in terms when you're running long-term cell-based assays. So what you can do is simply, you use your own microblade actually with a, a lid on it. And basically, of course, that helps you to protect your cells for long-term measurement. And as you see, there's a magnetic pad on the lid and inside the microblade reader is actually a tool called the lid lifter which actually lifts up the microblade lid from the incubation position. Then the plate actually moves into the measurement position and then the plate is then moved back into the incubation position, the lid based on, and it's safe. Okay. So when you then study, want to study confluence because you want to study cell growth and you would like to inject the compound to see if it's an excit excitatory or inhibitory effect of your cells, you all have to do this manually. You have to basically take the microplate out of an incubator, then go to a microscope, study the confluence. And then you have researchers, one or two or three even people, checking on the confluence. You might get the different value. So it's a subjective value, which of course is not very excellent in terms of getting high data quality. And then of course you have to put the plate into the reader. All this is taken care of by the Spark Control and the now introduced Smart Automation Package. That basically means you can start an assay in the microplate well and say, study the confluence web value, and once the confluence has reached a specific value, then you can execute an action. This is called the conditional kinetics. And you can, of course, do an injection. You can do a read, for instance, of an, an absorbance read after a certain confluence level. And this is what's all about smart automation. As you see, there's the polar bear with the T-cool depicted here in the microplate here, the spark, of course. And as we know, there are temperature-sensitive assays like luminescence assays. We urge you to basically look at our website to check out for yourselves to see what the polar bear and T-cool actually stands for. So thank you for letting us comment on the spark at the SLIS 2017.